So it only took me one day to receive the all new on Cloud Pulse Hit and Cardio Shoe. Welcome to Sid's Tips. Thank you so much for joining me and so glad I got them so quickly and look forward to sharing with you more about the shoe. And in this video, it's gonna be more about sizing, just initial thoughts. I really haven't had a chance to put them to the workout test, but in fact, I'm really not going to with this specific shoe because they're too big and I'll talk about sizing, which is something to keep in mind. And it, these shoes have really taken off. In fact, on the company site, they were already sold out most sizes. However, I'll put my referral link in the description as well as in the comment section where you could check them out where most sizes are available. It comes in three colors for women, two colors for men. And let's dive on in. So as far as the shoe, put them on, they felt really comfortable on my foot. They don't feel like they have too much cushioning and they feel like they have stability and I'll share with you some more thoughts as I have an indoor walking treadmill how they feel just walking in them as well now as far as the material let's talk about that the shoe is crafted from engineered mesh recycled upper and this pair of shoes features helion super foam and it's got a reinforced upper mesh for breathability and stability it does have, for the shoe, it does have this Super Foam, which is their Helion Super Foam, which is uh, different and I'm you know, learning more about on shoes. And as far as it does have a speed board, which supports lateral movement. It's a recycled polyester lining with an EVA insole. These are a size 12 and they come in weighing at 13.3 ounces. So just a little bit there to, uh, know uh, some basics on the shoe so it, it feels a little heavy not too too heavy but again I, I do feel like they uh, provide comfort on my foot now as far as the uppers again they say it's breathable which I didn't feel like they were hot during the time that I've worn them thus far the shoelaces are a standard long shoelace and you'll probably need to double knot them they do have a little bit of a stretch to them Let's talk about the tongue. The tongue is a thin tongue, not really much padding, but it's a little thinner at the edge and maybe a little thicker uh, in the shoe, which is gusseted and it's tied to the shoelace there, so the tongue should stay in place. And as far as cushioning, you've got some nice cushioning in the back and not much at the very bottom of the shoe, which most shoes generally don't. It's usually the upper part, so you're gonna get some nice cushioning there. And you do have stability in the heel on the bottom with the plastic. This is more flexible. The shoe does have some flex, but it feels like a firmer flex. So uh, keep that in mind as well. And as far as the sole, this is the sole of the shoe, which they've designed again for this to be workout shoe in the gym, a hit cardio workout. It does feel like it does you know, do a good job as far as holding the shoe. It's not gonna slip. So it feels like it's got a good grip there. So that highlights the, the shoe and you can get the front there. Let me give you a little 360 view of the shoe. Now, let's talk about sizing. So my suggestion size-wise is going with your true size that you normally wear. I wear an 11 and a half in like New Balance. And so I got a 12 in these, and you can see these run way too big for me. Way, way too big. I've got plenty of room in the toe box, which is great because I do have a wide foot, but lengthwise, they run big. Uh, so I would go true to size in this shoe. Now, what's interesting is the Cloud Surfer shoe, I'm a 12 and a half, and those fit me, but the Cloud Surfer Trail, I'm an 11 and a half. So sometimes you need to try them on to see what would work but again you could see too big in the toe box on the left foot and the same thing for the right foot just too big and they just do not feel steady on my foot and I'll be slipping and for this type of shoe I think you really want to make sure they fit right not too big uh, even though sometimes it's nice to have a little extra toe room because your feet do sweat and they expand but uh, this is just too much room in the shoe. So as I walk here on the treadmill, I do feel like the shoe has some nice cushioning, not too cushioned, but 
Nice cushioning with stability. They do feel clunky on me though because they are a half a size too big, but I do like the feel of the shoes. I also am a little concerned, as I had shared, there is not a lot of arch support, at least from what it feels, but I'm not feeling any foot pain to this point. So there you go. Those are my thoughts on the shoe. My, my biggest concern is the arch support in the shoe. You know, it, although it didn't really bother me, might it be because it doesn't have the arch support. So that is one thing to keep in mind. This is another shoe that I've been trying. It's by a company called Kuru. This is a firmer feel, but it does uh, have more arch support. And I could put my own arch, um, I could put my own insole in versus this one I can't. So uh, I'll put a link to the shoe in my review and this, uh, it's got a, a nice upper mesh as well. So we'll uh, share that with you if you are interested in maybe taking a look at another option. So there you go. Let me know if you have any questions and I appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Have a great day and I hope you enjoy these shoes and get a great workout. Take care.